Hey guys, Ron here. We're at Central Park here in Mishawaka, Indiana. I'm out riding. It's about 32 degrees today. We got a 12 mile an hour west wind and I'm primarily riding a loop going west at the beginning. So I'll have a headwind on the first half of the ride and a tailwind. I'm gonna try to get my um, metric sensory in, in, in here today for Strava. So I want to do a video here on the my front bag. I'm using the um, Link Handlebar Roll by REI. It's a basically it's a tri bag holster. There's several other brands that make similar bags. It basically loops over the handlebars and connects right here. One of the first cons of the bag I'm going to call out is that it has a reflective loop right here that is meant to hold your light, but when you have a full bag, it points down at the wheel. So I would have liked to see probably one right here and one right up here so that you, you would have one for when you're really loaded and one for your, when you're less loaded. Go ahead and unhook the bag real quick. As you see, you can take it out with one hand very easily. And I'll go ahead and cut the video and I'll come right back with what's inside the bag. In my bag, I have the REI Aerail Plus. That's my winter sleeping pad. I have my titanium stove in here, which is like one of those like cheapest stoves on Amazon. It's a, and a titanium cup and a gas canister. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube. I don't think I need to unpack it. It's, it's just one of the um, like $15 stoves that comes in 15 different brands that are all the same. So. Right here, I have a um, See the Summit dry bag that also inflates the mattress. You can use it to pump the mattress. And inside that bag, I have a um, down puffy and down pants. So I try to keep this my setup today as, as I, if I was going to camp today in this weather. So I'm pretty excited about this bag because when, once we get into um, spring and summer, in fall camping, my um, my air mattress is like more than half the size of that. I'll probably be stoveless, and I I won't need the down gear. So I'm gonna have plenty of plenty of room for like food and an extra set of clothes with this setup here. So and it works nicely for winter. If I was to actually do a winter camp today, I'd probably have to have a backpack to carry some food and um, extra supplies, like maybe a, a shovel. Um, we, we still have a little snow here. We probably wouldn't need the, need the shovel, but definitely would need a backpack to carry food. That's one of the things that's lacking trying to do a winter setup with the backpacking bags is there's um, the winter gear takes up so much space that now there's no room for food. So, but I, I tested it with my, my summer setup. I could actually get my entire tent and sleep system in the rear bag um, for my summer setup. So we're looking pretty good like there's gonna be enough room. Um, I'm contemplating getting one of those compactable backpacks that would I would be able to pack it and fit it in either the, the front roll here or the frame bag and go semi foodless for my um, spring and summer trips that and by that means I'll have snacks snacks on the bike but as far as like lunch breakfast dinner if I was to have dinner at camp I would deploy the backpack go to a grocery store or gas station buy the dinner food and carry it back to camp in the backpack and then afterwards put the backpack 
back in the frame bag when I'm when I'm not eating and just carry snacks. Uh, I did order two um, stem handlebar bags. Uh, I, I ordered them about two weeks ago on Etsy from a supplier based in Ukraine and I've got messages that it's delayed and I'm not I'm not sure if I'm I'm gonna be able to get those bags so I might have to um, I might have to buy order different ones so uh, but I do plan on adding a couple frame bags or stem bags over there that help carry snacks and and move around some of the repair kit because I wanted the, um, the better utilized frame bag. So. That's my quick update and a quick overview of this REI Link roll bag. There's not much videos on YouTube. Um, let's go back into the cons. One of the cons is too is that REI has a Link bag for the for the um, saddle that comes in two colors, that comes in more of a brown, like the, um, the top two bag there. And, but the, the front link roll bag only comes in gray. So I would um, suggest that REI for their link bag system here, just make sure that, you, that all the bags come in the same color. I'd like to see a, a link bag that's a frame, frame bag like a half frame bag and a full frame bag because some people like half some people like full I like to see a link bag for the um, top two bag too the, just to just so you can make your everything match and and kind of work together as a system and probably link bag stem bag so I like REI to kind of like either get in the backpacking game or get out you know because they're kind of they're kind of half in, like they, you know, they they, they seem to have a couple of bags, and I really like that saddle bag. I like the tent stakes. I'm going to do the next video on that. So those are kind of my cons. My pro, my pro is that that they are affordable. Like sometimes REI is pretty expensive, but when compared to um, other brands and Amazon, like. And REI, you know you're gonna get halfway decent quality, so they are pretty affordable. REI's return policy too is great. You get a year to return things at REI, so I'll be able to um, ride with these bags all year long, and, and if they, in three or four months, they have a major failure, I can go ahead and return them or exchange them. And that's, that's pretty important too, because I'm trying to buy my buy my gear in, in the spring and well before I start riding so I don't want to I want to spend more of my money towards spring and su or summer and fall on travel and other things so I want to get my gear out of the way it, it makes it nice that if I make a mistake buying from REI that I have a whole year to return them and try them so that's one of the major major pros of REI um, one of the pros too is that REI often has sales, so I got, this month you've spent $100, you get a $20 gift card, so I got a gift card back. I was really, really looking at getting some um, bags from the from a different website, and like they had a clickbaity coupon code, and the coupon code didn't take the, the bags didn't qualify for the coupon code, so, I, you know, it is what it is, man. It's money's tight. Price of everything is going up. You know, the the guy with the best deal is going to win sometimes. But oh, they were Blackburn bags. So the one thing I liked about the Blackburn bags, it, it was like a dry bag holster for your your saddle. I kind of liked that style, and it was a similar dry bag holster for the front end REI, but. The website, when I went in and punched in the 15% off coupon code, they, they didn't apply to Blackburn products. So I, the next best deal was going to REI. So I decided to go to REI instead. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video and I'll, I'll cut in the relive thing of my ride today. I like to show how I train and prepare for my long rides and part of it is, is just riding around with your gear at home. So I plan on, I plan on um, doing a backyard camp with this gear. And actually, I think, I'm thinking next week. I, I'm not a, I'm not, I can go down to zero degrees Fahrenheit or below, but I'm not really, really big on that. So I like my nights to be like in the mid 20s, mid 20s to um, mid 30s for lows. So I'm thinking like in the next couple weeks, I'm, I might do a little winter, post late winter camp, I, I would say. It'd be nice to, to do it with, when there's still some snow on the ground or I don't mind camping with snow. You can still, from 35 to 25, you can still have, have some snow and maybe even some snow showers while camping. I think it'd be fun. I, I'm gonna do like a, a backyard camp. I might, might do like a ride up to the state park and back and just camp in the backyard to save, save the 20 bucks from buying a campsite. You know, I kind of like, I have a brand new tent this year, so I want to make sure that I have a bailout plan the first first couple times I use that tent. Okay guys, I'm rambling on here. You all have a good day.